Okay, so this afternoon, in the wide open park, there's deer up there. This is Bradgate Country Park where they have herds of deer. There's deer in the bracken up there. You can see the tracks as I'm scanning around. I'll scan back to little Kobe down below me and then we carry on scanning around. It's a vast open area and as I say there's deer here as well so you have to be very trustful of the dog you're with because you can be walking along and suddenly a herd of deer can move off into the distance from close to you. Kobe, good boy. Kobe sit, sit. I'm free, free, come on. Good boy. Okay, so we carry on on our walk. You can see the body language, you can see the eye contact, and that's what we want. So we, when we want him to come to us, we simply shout, Kobe, come. When we want him to come closer, because we probably want to put the lead on, or we want him to sit in front, we add here on the end. So we would say, Kobe, come here. And you can see he's very interested in what's going on because of it being such a open place with lots of scents and sights and smells and what have you is very interested in what's going on so we just simply walk along when we want him to come back Kobe Kobe come Kobe come okay so he trots back to us good boy and sit Kobe free so we free him again so we must do that at the end we must give him the free command at the end or, or he will do what a lot of dogs do and get in the habit of just sitting his bottom down and then literally disappearing. So we want him to wait until we're ready to release him. So that's a methodical way of training him. Okay, so we're heading up to the hills. There's, as I say, deer in the bracken up there. But I'm 100% confident if they decided to move or he got the scent off them, I could call him back and he would come. Toby! He's very, very responsive, as you can see. Just have to call his name and he comes back. We've had him out. Lots of other dogs. We've had him with other dogs and practiced the recall. We've had him sitting near other dogs. Um, he's a very biddable chap. He's investigating the moles around. Kobe, good boy. Okay, so that really nice body language and eye contact is looking as if to say, okay pal, what do you want me to do next? Where are we going? Where, where are we heading? Kobe, good boy. Okay, so this is what it's like going for a nice walk with an obedient dog. Instead of the usual, I see people arrive at country parks and the dog drags them to the open area they take the dog off the lead and it just runs off and they're almost following the dog around the park because the dog has a set route it goes and it has no respect or need to stay with the owner because the owner is not the pack leader the owner is just somebody that feeds and looks after the dog so why should the dog bother the dog has no boundaries no respect and just basically pleases itself what it does. Kobe, this way. Okay, so you can see straight away the little guy's very nice to take out. He's a real companion now. I've developed a, a real bond with him. He's got an off switch. You know, you can tell him no or ah, ah and immediately you get that eye contact and whatever he's doing, if it wasn't acceptable, like eating horse droppings or whatever, he will stop doing it and he'll come over to you without, a, without an issue. So there we are. Kobe! What a lovely afternoon for a walk. Not a tough job being a dog trainer.